I am getting a makeover. Not because I feel ugly, although sometimes that is the case, but I needed a little pick-me-up. I've been grieving a loss and I haven't felt like getting dressed, haven't put makeup on, I haven't even been brushing my hair. And while that's fine to do while grieving, I think it started to make me feel even worse. I hadn't felt like I had much to look forward to this entire time, except this makeover. It's been scheduled for a while and back then I was purely just so excited for a change. But now I'm also looking forward to getting a spark put back into my soul again. Something to take my mind off of things, to help me feel a little more confident in myself again. I think that's the true beauty in doing our makeup and getting our hair done. It's not to be the reason we feel happy, but to jumpstart the process of feeling confident and sometimes a little bit more like ourselves again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm a different person! <laughs> here at the Grey Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York, where I'm going to be getting a makeover by Claudia and Kim. I'm so excited, so let's go. There you are, Stunner. Hey guys, so today we're just gonna be lightening up Courtney. We're gonna put some extensions in there, so we're just gonna lighten her natural in order to blend that. So stay tuned and see the after. Never been a runner, held back and held it under. Extensions and they're going to blend in with her natural hair like this. Then we'll do a final reveal. Skate around it, holding it in like a habit. Show up like the thunder. These things that I wonder. Would you be my lifeline? I'm yours if you be mine. Would you stay here by my side? Would you stay, would you stay, would you stay through the 
gotten my makeover and I am so, so, so happy with the results. There's something about having long hair that instantly made my confidence go from like really bad to really great. Like I said in the intro, I was in a very bad place before this makeover. I was really sad. I was going through a loss, uh, grieving, and every day I kept thinking like, okay, one more week and then I have something fun to do. Three more days and then I have something to be really excited about. When I was sitting in the chair, I just felt really nice being able to be pampered and working on myself again because I hadn't been brushing my hair, I hadn't been putting makeup on, I haven't been like making myself feel good. So going through that whole experience was so nice. The funny thing is I actually trimmed a few inches off my hair like a few days ago only because I never thought I would say this in my life. It almost looked too long. I got them from Glam Seamless. They were the 20 inches and in comparison to other hair extension like charts, it looked like they were 24 inches. Like they came down to like here. I actually trimmed a little bit and it made the ends look a little bit thicker, which I like and it just ended up looking a bit more um, natural. I'm just so happy I did it. I wanna say thank you so much to Claudia and Kim at The Great Studio for doing this with me, for collaborating with me. If you guys happen to be in the New York area or Poughkeepsie, New York, I definitely recommend going there. Claudia is like the master at balayaging hair, at like highlighting hair with all her crazy different techniques. And Kim is a wizard at doing hair extensions and makeup and lashes and eyebrows. She's like working with Coco Rocha. She's just killing it right now. So definitely go follow them on Instagram to see some of the magic that they're creating. So yeah, this is the finished result with the trim and everything. I am just, I'm so, so, so happy. Um, thank you again to Claudia and Kim. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys very soon with another one. Bye. You'll be my